Hi, Hike and Jim here, and welcome to another episode of Adventures in Stoving. Now, what you see here are three different possible ways to configure a burner, or parts that would configure a burner, for a MSR Dragonfly stove. On the left is the factory installed roarer plate. Uh, this is just a simple plate of metal, spread, or it's called a, a roarer plate, or a flame plate, or a flame spreader. That just spreads out the flame when it comes, uh, the gas comes out of the jet, and the uh, stove won't work without something. And that one, it's called a roarer for a reason. It's loud. Now, in the middle, you can see the first edition Dragon Tamer, and on the right, you can see the new Dragon Tamer 2. And so this uh, episode is really about the Dragon Tamer 2. It's a little higher. Uh, it's got a little bit, if you look at it, it's got a little bit narrower leg, but a little bit longer leg. And this stove has five, or excuse me, this cap has five rows of holes instead of four on the Dragon Tamer 1. And now these caps come with the maker's mark. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a paw print. So uh, the, uh, the maker is, goes by the uh, moniker Huge Canine on eBay. So uh, that's his paw print from the Huge Canine. Okay, so uh, that's a first look at the Dragon Tamer 2 cap, and in a minute I'm going to put it on a stove and uh, fire it up, okay? And this, by the way, is uh, DT27, which means this is the 27th Dragon Tamer that's been produced. I assume that that concludes bo includes both Dragon Tamer 1s and Dragon Tamer 2s. 